Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe and I'm going to do a nice little tutorial for you using some amazing brushes that I'm really excited about, the Smith brushes. I've already got my skin done. I'm playing around with some new skin products so I can make a new uh, foundation and skin video for you. So anyways, uh, let's get into it and uh, hope you like it. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my Smith brush, the 115. These are really soft, luxurious brushes. like. I'm actually really excited about them. Um, to be honest with you, I don't often get super stoked about brushes, so I'm really impressed with this company. And uh, anyways, I used it on blush a little earlier, so never mind that it's pink. So this is the Shine On Compact by Makeup Forever, and I'm just going to use this on the highest points of my cheekbone, because you can never have shiny enough cheekbones. Right down the center of the nose because like I just feel like in life um it's good to be shiny this side too mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put it like quite a bit on this is nice because it's not too too reflective so you can almost use it like an under eye highlight why not blend that I'm gonna go in the pro fusion bronze which to be honest with you it's a little bit on the light skinned side for myself I like a really dark bronzer but um, it's it's a nice transition kind of bronzer and as nice as a little bit of a contour but I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of it um, because it's got a really nice uh, reflective bit to it but not so much that it's shiny more in a way that uh, it looks like skin, so it reflects light the same way skin does. And uh, it's actually really nice as a little nose contour, which I have already done a lot of today. There. Next, I'm going to go in with my Hot Makeup USA Desert Sunrise, which is also shiny. And uh, I'm feeling this blush a lot. And I'm going to put that kind of on the apples and blend it back. Look at that. I don't even get down with blush, but I will get down with this because like basically a little bit pinky version of a bronzer. A lot of these products I'm like using for the first time so um, I'm really excited but also nervous because I never know what I'm doing. But anyways this is the Smith 232 brush. These are also really lightweight. This is super duper fluffy with the artist palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Dusty Rose. Never tried it before. Today's the day and uh, I'm just going to go into my crease those brushes feel pretty nice. And I'm going to wing it out. But uh, nothing new there. It is literally a dusty rose color. So uh, nice move on the naming. Blah, blah, blah. That's what I do. And it just gives a little bit of rosiness to your... Uh, eyelids and a little bit of depth. Anywho, also I did try the color buttery and I think it's really beautiful so I'm going to lay that color down on the lid here. It's just like the perfect um, skin lightener almost. It doesn't really add a lot of color, it just literally lightens your skin. It's perfect. This is a Hot Candy eyeshadow in Morocco by Hot Makeup. Um, that's a little swatchy swatch for you if you can see it. Anywho, all over my entire eyelid with that because it's a pretty color and I'm about it. You know what? I think I'm going to use this wet because I kind of want to draw out a shape with this and uh, it goes on a little bit more pigmented. So I'm going to go in with uh, this brush which is the 23053. It's very, very fluffy. It's not super dense but it's nice and thin so it'll be great for carving out a shape with an eyeshadow this wet. I actually just wet my brush. I'm going to go on the outer edge because sometimes you don't know how eyeshadow is going to be after you wet it. So it's always good to go on the outer edge of it. And uh, I'm going to just paint that all over. Damn. I like this color. Wing it out. It's nice and neutral. Okay, so then next I'm going to go in with the same brush, still a little damp, still a little bit of the other eyeshadow color, which is Morocco 
on there with the darker color. I'm going to go in with this beautiful pinky peach. This is a little swatchy swatch for you. Bye. This one's called Harmony. And I'm going to go on the inner corner and wiggle it towards the middle. But it's so shiny and it mixes really nicely with the brown that we already did. Want to come closer? And uh, yeah, I'm just going to do that kind of all over the lid. Next, I'm going to get back into the Artist Palette by Anastasia. And I think I'll go into Baby I'm a Star. Right there. I will lightly drag it out on the corner just above to mix with that color um, Morocco and to just help us wing this out a bit. Freak it out a little bit. Next I'm going to go in with my Smith 302 brush. Go in with uh, Baby I'm a Star again. Be careful with this part because it's glitter but uh, I'm going to do it because uh, I'm a rebel. I'm just going to fill my waterline. and wing it out a little bit, like that. I'm going to take a little bit of the color fresh and go right in the inner corner of my eye. Next I'm going to go in the Hot Makeup USA color um, Happy Thoughts. I'm just going to let that melt into place. Now I'm just going to go in and apply some lashes. These are uh, number 217 and number 118 from uh, Red Cherry. And just giving them a little squinch or a little pinch together so that I know that they're on there for real. Now I'm just going to add some mascaras and lots of it. I'll just put a little bit on the top ones as well just so it blends. I'm going to do just a touch of the Aries party right in the middle. And that's it. And it's kind of like a, it is kind of like purpley a little bit more neutral. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow. And love yourself and stay pretty. And I'll see you guys again very soon. You can follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, all that. At Sandra Deluxe. 